Hello, strawberry cake with a cherry on top. Baby dolls, when euphoric bull market. I have been getting this question a lot. And there are two answers, as always, in this life. It's not black and white. The color is pumpermental green. So there are actually two bull markets when you think about it. There's the bull market for people who want to win, like me and you, friends, all of us. And then there's the bull market where people want to get excited. They want dopamine, they want Viagra, they want a sexual libido pump, they want the action, they want to do handstands, they want the communities to do the tornadoes and everybody to be throwing stuff around, okay? They are two different bull markets. My bull market, and now your bull market, because we're friends, that starts at the bottom of the bear. That is actually going to be the zombie virus low, for example, okay? The zombie virus low. So that is one of the bull markets and absolute depression. So you've got a bull market starts here, right? Or it starts here, right? But most people would say, no, the bull market starts when you cross the all-time high, okay? So if you want to win, you should train yourself, hey, the bull market actually started already. So if SBF, the soy drinker, if his collapse was truly the bear market low, that's, you know, the bear market low means now the bull market starts, okay? Just like when you ask me, when does the bear market start? And you go, well, it was Coinbase listing. It was actually up here. That's the actual bear market starting, okay? Or you can do the futures launch, Bitcoin futures ETF, okay? You see that when it's maximum friendship, and here is minimum friendship. So it's down here, minimum friendship. So what part do you want to partake in? Okay, so I like, these are just words. It means nothing else, okay? I like to say the bull market starts now because if I can help you out there, you've got cash savings, maybe you say, you know what? Winter's over. My fluffy slippers are fluffy enough. They'll last me three months. I can actually allocate more. If I can just get one person, one boy or girl out there to just add a little bit more while the prices are cheap, I'm the happiest man alive. Because that means you take advantage of this. And when everyone tells you it's a bull market, well, that probably means it's too late. So we're gonna go through the waves, man. You wanna see, there are different waves that actually seem to repeat in crypto. So a lot of it, the, the general market knowledge is Bitcoin halvening, all right? So if you look at the chart, you go, oh, Bitcoin halvening, and then Bitcoin goes up and everything goes after. But you gotta look at the nuance behind it, all right? So I want you to, we're gonna dive deep into what, this is what happens before. It might not happen again, man. So it might not ever happen again, right? But this is just what's happened before. So the first thing is Bitcoin recovers, okay? That's the only constant we have had. Now, all of these, they're not set in stone. It's it's possible, right? It's possible Ethereum leads the recovery, okay? It's possible for this cycle. So I'm already telling you, yes, you gotta be prepared for something to shift. The fact that I can explain this to you in a story, nice and neat, start to finish, I am now opening myself to the chance that we are the exit top, right? We are like the people who are joining in late, okay? I don't think we are, but we're just, it's possible, right? So there, there is a recovery of prices, and you can see here, number one, all right? You can see the Bitcoin pr price recovers, like every cycle, and you know, might be Ethereum this time. But we just basically, the market goes, hey, we're not dead, all right? We're like, hey, that depression and that anger was just leverage wipeouts and all this excess fat of the market. We shouldn't be down there. Now, what happens in number two? In number two, in number two we have, let's go back, in number two, a new crypto tech is implemented. So in every wave, so 2012, 2016, 2020, there was a tech that was out and it captured retail imagination, okay? So in 2012, there were the Bitcoin forks. So Litecoin came 2013, for example, but I want you to know that it's not about the tech being invented. It's not like someone like, you know, discovers gravity or something. It's more to do with the fact that someone finds a way to kind of just capture, you know, people's enthusiasm. 
and make people experiment with stuff. And there's enough people sitting on the sidelines with money who start flowing somewhere. And once they start flowing, it starts a trend. And then everyone notices. Okay, so in 2012, you had Bitcoin fair launches, right? So the Bitcoin fair launches, it was like, oh, Satoshi, oh my God, fair launch. That's what everybody was yelling about. Decentralization, right? That's what everyone was yelling about, remember? And if you watch any of my videos, you'll know Bitcoin pumped just because someone market bought. It didn't pump because it was decentralized or anything, but because it was decentralized in people's minds, everyone thinks, oh yeah, that was the thing that made money, right? So that's why everybody tried the forks. Isn't it amazing? Bitcoin's pump um, forced everybody to think, oh wow, let's attach a narrative to this price going up and it's probably like censorship resistance and, you know, immutability. And people did that and, you know, there were pumps and then they all dumped <laughs> and only Bitcoin survived because Bitcoin was the genesis. It's got the Satoshi law, right? So then you had the Ethereum ICOs. So here you go, you're moving outside of Bitcoin now, right? We've progressed to another layer one chain, right? And Ethereum was launched 2014, 2015. And people figured out, oh my God, I can raise money on Ethereum and then I can, you know, basically dump on everyone. That's what ended up happening, right? Everybody did the experiments of the ICO scams. Now, I'm not going to be too harsh on them because if you look at all companies in society and businesses, 98% just go to the, the gurgler. They just get dr drained. They're just basically pump and dumps and people just waste their money. But that's what we are, man. We're humans, entrepreneurial spirits. That's just what we do, man. We got to do a thousand things and one sticks. And that's what it is, right? So Ethereum ICO came, right? And 2016 obviously sparked the mania, right? For the next one. So in 2012, we had the Bitcoin forks. 2016, we had the Ethereum in the ICO mania. 2020, Uniswap became popular. People learning Uniswap and DEXs and everyone's mind was blown like, oh my God. I can trade any asset, it's just like a pool. And every asset is just a fraction. So it's like, oh, I've got 50% of asset A and 50% of asset B, and you can make them whatever you want in the world, any crypto asset, wow. Absolutely mind blowing, by the way. Uniswap, I can't tell you how important its technology is for the world. It is like the third pillar. I'm not joking, the third pillar. And I'll put it with Chainlink. That's how important it is. Unfortunately, Uniswap can be forked and Chainlink can't, okay? Because Chainlink, its advantage will be the nodes of people plugging in data, okay? And I can't fork your data when you're the government and you're providing, say, health records, right? I can't fork that. So, you know, this is something to think about. Uniswap came and it captured everyone's imagination. And yeah, DeFi season was able to start. You know, they released a token or the swapping and one thing led to another, right? So that's the second part the bull market, right? So that's actually what we need to get to the euphoria. And the third phase is one last rinse. So this is going to be hard. So, But this one last rinse, it's not me being a doomer. It's me just saying, hey, whatever the enthusiasm of people exist in the tech rally wave, so let's zoom in, whatever exists there will probably push up prices, right? I don't see people getting enthusiastic if just prices go sideways. They go, oh wow, we're so enthusiastic, oh my God. I don't think that happens. I think there's gonna be some sort of drag upwards, right? You know, I can actually show you this on the price. It doesn't have to be a lot, by the way. This was DeFi season, okay? This was DeFi season, look at that. But here's another thing. Bitcoin had its huge speculative recovery rave back in 2019. So you might also say, hey, we could only rally a tiny bit for DeFi season because we basically got too euphoric in the year before. So now you're gonna say to me, hey, what color are your socks? And I will tell you right now, they are black and green. And now we're gonna go back to the previous bear market. Look, let's look at Bitcoin here. It did a slow methodical rise, okay? So it has hope and disbelief, hope, disbelief, right? Hope, oh, disbelief, right? So it does that. And in this time, right, look where Ethereum was actually out here, right? So even in this time, even though Bitcoin was going slower, you can see that there were these moments of excitement. You know, if you go back and check, I think here, Ethereum was going nuts, friends, and here's actually the Bitcoin halvening. So even in this period, see, we, we went even higher. So I'm gonna go now show you 
the new tech rally wave. That's what I was just seeing here. See here? The new tech rally wave, right? Right here. It's like, oh my God, we're going up. Now, if you, a lot of people will say, oh, they had nothing to do with each other. And I'll say, sit down. Sit down for five seconds and straight on your back. I'll tell you right now, it doesn't even matter. All that matters is that price goes up, okay? Price goes up and people get excited. That's all you need to know. That's literally all you need to know, right? So, you know, we've gone through the recovery rave. Now there's like some sort of new tech that starts to capture people's imagination. Then there's a one last rinse, right? You had maybe a Bitcoin halvening crash. You know, there was a zombie virus of sorts. There's just something, man. You know, this is, there's one last thing to just be like, yeah, get out. Just everybody get out, right? And I'll show you what happened here. This was BitMEX basically getting done. And it was just, ah, oh, we're going to close the CME gap, right? Just, you know, like just, there's a final, just like make everyone quit, man. Yeah. I remember even I was really depressed during this time. Even though I thought Bitcoin was going to go straight to the moon, I was depressed. I was like, oh my God, again. Because friends, please, you got to walk through with, you got to walk with me through this. This is one week at a time. You don't know what's coming next, man. This is what we were looking at. Look how depressing that looks. You realize like, Oh my God, up, down, oh no, we're never, ever, ever going to move, are we? Like, that's literally what you're seeing. You don't know it's going to go up. And look the next week. Oh, yay! $300 range, everybody. Like, it was so sad, friends. And look, see, it's still not moving. This is a month, man. A month. You're like, oh, this is probably going to fail like all the others. That's what we're all saying. It's literally disbelief. And that turns into hope, right? Look at this, look at this. See, now Bitcoin breaks 20K. And we're like, oh, this rally is real. This rally is real. If you go to the Wall Street cheat sheet, that's what actually, there's a part in there that says, this rally is real. And then it becomes time to get fully invested. That's the next one. It's amazing how actually we all feel the same things, right? So those are the three conditions we need before we actually enter the strong libido, euphoria, bull market. Optimism, thrill. Well, this is basically the top, right? So this is what happened. So maybe it doesn't happen again. I don't know. We've done this three times. How many more times can we do it? It depends. How many more people can we onboard? That's why, friends, I got it. This is why you go look, put on your thinking caps. Put on your thinking beanie, actually. Take the cap off. Put your fluffy beanie on right now. This new tech rally, okay, that is sexy enough to attract new people into crypto, right? It has to be beautiful enough to grab people who did not buy into the previous crypto narratives. You know, they didn't care about decentralization. They didn't care about Bitcoin, Satoshi. They didn't care about Litecoin. They didn't care about even Ethereum ICOs, okay? The people who came in for the DeFi one in 2020 didn't care about Ethereum ICOs, all right? They care about something new, you know? And that's what, that's what happened. So this new crypto tech wave, I don't know what, you don't know what it's gonna be. We're gonna go through a list, but man, it could be one of a thousand coins, okay? There's no point even trying to do anything. Let the DGEN spark it first, and then we will act, okay? So this is great, right? You actually get to see we at flesh out. This is what we're waiting for. Now, I'm telling you right now, this part's gonna be very hard on your heart and soul because it's gonna be hard, friends, because you know what's gonna happen? I'm preparing you right now. There's gonna be people who make a lot of money in here and they're gonna post it on Twitter and you're gonna think you're missing out and your coin's not gonna move that much, you know? Maybe Hex stays 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents. Maybe Chainlink 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks. You know, just they just can't move and these other things have gone like 10X in a month, right? And then that season ends. Eventually that season ends and you realize, oh my God, we're not gonna move, right? But I'm gonna be here every step of the way telling you to hold your horses. It's okay, this is normal, all right? Optimism, thrill, euphoria. That's where we're gonna go. Now, you are, do you know how much I love you, man? Do you, I somehow found some guy named Ash Ketchum who posted this tweet thread, and I found that, by the way, I'm not, I'm not joking, right? I woke up at like 4 a.m. in the morning. I just checked my phone. I shouldn't have. I went on Twitter, and this guy, this appeared on my front page, on my on my tweet, right? On my Twitter thread. Um, sorry, the profile feed. And I knew, I was like, oh my God, this is the most important thing right now. I'm too sleepy. I've got to go hang a wee-wee and go back to bed again. I saved it for you guys and I've kept it nice and neat. And now here it is so we can all look at it. These are what the next crypto waves 
could be, right? And it doesn't have to be the one. It just could be it, right? So, and I mentioned here, all of them have a multitude of crypto project potential, all right? So I just want you to know, friends, you can't just buy one coin. So it's not going to be that easy. There are none. I'm telling you now, the crypto is getting harder, man. It's getting really hard. There's, the forks is just too much. Just too many people know how to copy paste. Okay, that's it. You got to throw a website and a logo, this and that. We're learning the formula, right? How to make a community. So you don't know which one will capture retailer imagination. All right? You don't. So I'm going to speak to you about this. Look, here are potential narratives, right? You can go try and learn all these and good luck because you probably forget them in 15 seconds. Okay, look, zero knowledge proofs, modular blockchains, right? Account abstraction. I actually made a tweet about that for account abstraction. Um, just to let you know, so account abstraction, what it lets you do is this is great. So you know when like you're watching this video off YouTube, right? You don't pay for the data for, for YouTube to store my video, okay? But in if we do account abstraction on Ethereum and in crypto, right, that means whoever has made like a protocol website, if they want you to say do DeFi swaps on them, they can actually, with Ethereum updates, they can pay your gas fee, Okay, so isn't that really cool? Because right now you have to approve a signature and you got to pay the chain, right? But obviously one day it's going to be like, you know, sub one penny. So maybe the website likes you using them, but it doesn't actually want you to pay the gas fee, you know? It's the same as using Instagram and all the other websites. You don't pay for the hosting. We don't have that available in crypto yet, but we will, you know? So multi-party computation, blockchain interoperabilities, blah, 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 restaking protocols, decentralized social... Okay, look, there's a, all this stuff. You look at them and you're like, wow, yes, maybe, no. I don't know what's going on. I want you to understand one thing. No one cares about your crypto techs. No one cares about your integral sign and your 2 plus 2 and your new curve stable coin and you're going to do a derivative and then you're going to go up, down and put some perp with some options pricing premium with the Greek letters. No one cares, all right? No one cares. So, do you want to know what they care about? Do you want to know what they care about? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you because you don't believe me. You don't believe me. You want to get into the mind of an average retailer? You want to get into the mind of the majority? Oh my God. Look at this dog and how cute it is. And look at its smile. I want to buy a coin with its logo. That's right. Wow, I want to join a community with like-minded individuals who appreciate how cute this little doggy is. Look how cute he is. He's so innocent, just smiling. So, oh my God. I'm blushing. Wow. And then we might make it radical. You know, we're like, wow, I wonder if we can turn him into a meme. <laughs> Look at his cute little head and ears. This is the mindset of everyone, okay? And if you want to like doubt it, you go, well, these like-minded individuals, they bought a coin up 771, no, oh my God, 70, oh my God, 771,619% high off on top of Ethereum. So this is what you're looking at, okay? These doggies, are way too cute to ignore. Take your options pricing premium and your Black Shoals model and you want to do a this and a that and a perpetual and what's a funding rate upside down. Don't care, man. I don't care. What's in your white paper? Blah, 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 blah. We don't care. We honestly don't care. We don't relate to that. 2% of people relate to that. The rest of the 98% of us, we want to pat this dog. I want to know what that milkshake tastes like. You see, you already know this, by the way. You already know this. I'm just communicating it to you. I'm opening your eyes. Okay, so, man, this dog, is, this dog is actually really cute. If someone made a coin, I might actually buy it, right? Look how compelled I feel. Monique would be like, oh, would you like some zero knowledge pool, sir? Oh, my God, modular blockchains. No one cares. No one cares. Go make a coin. Make a logo. Get a community. All right, get some tattoos. Now we're, now we're talking, okay? Now we're talking. So all these things, 
by the way, they are amazing, right? Any of these can spark a big narrative. NFT finance, you have like bonds, right? So someone can make a protocol. By the way, don't invest in these. They're going to be scams. So someone can make a protocol and they can do funding and you can basically fund the DAO by issuing bonds, you know? Like if someone has a treasury and if you own the NFT, they'll pay you a coupon, right? So you give them like, you know, for like say a million dollars and then out of the protocol, just for you owning the NFT, you'll get like a claimable, say 60K per year, right? And yeah, we have all these crazy stuff, real world assets, right? Any of these friends, any of these, someone can make something cool, right? But I want you to also understand, right? Why I like Chainlink, okay? Why I like Chainlink is get the Chainlink logo, okay? Why I like Chainlink is because, see all of this crypto tech, Let's delete. Actually, I'm not going to delete these cute little doggies. They're going to sit here. Look how cute they are. All right. You will not be deleted. Chainlink is going to have the data for all of these. All right. So let's bring these up here. Okay. Do you understand? This is why I'm bullish on Chainlink. I don't care what the price does today. I don't care what you're telling me. Yes, I might be redacted for holding. I'm just letting you right now, know right now. A lot of these crypto tech waves, they only get enhanced with Chainlink. And I really mean, yes, right. They need valid data. They need assets. Look, this, even number 12, real world assets, okay? Your real world ass, you're getting data from outside. You need a valid, professional, secure blockchain to provide that data, to give you price quotes outside, to provide this information, right? What about if you want to hold people's uh, like reputation and their credit credit uh, credit score. You're gonna need someone to put it up there, man. Like imagine you're on a DeFi loan which gave you a cheaper rate because of your credit score. You want to see something like Chainlink have the data in a secure, valid area so the entrepreneur, right? So the giga nerd, the crypto giga nerd who can actually code this stuff together, you want it to be 100% working, okay? All of these things, will 100% all be expanded by Chainlink, okay? So that's why it's important. But you know what? Screw Chainlink, let's go back to the cute dogs. So these cute doggies, it put, when they put, see, look at this, I'm, I'm so happy right now, let's move this to the side. When you're looking at these cute little doggies, right, they're just smiling at you, you have to put yourself in the mind of the next people coming in. The next people coming in, they're further, further late in the adoption cycle, okay? They did not respond to Bitcoin, they did not respond to Satoshi, they didn't respond to Vitalik's giant giant brain can barely fit in his head, they don't care about crypto kitties, they don't care about crypto punks, okay, they don't care about gaming metaverse as much, they don't care about, you know, payment solutions from XRP, they don't care, man, they care about something new and different, so the more you can just think about, all right, the new people coming in, they're going to come for new stuff, the more you can get into the mindset that this ultimate euphoric bull market coming, you're not going to be able to just go like, okay, I'm going to pick exactly which one, right? But as long as you stay here, we will be we'll be watching the footprints of people form. What are they doing? What are they looking at? And I'm going to be here every step of the way. I love you all, friends. Until next time. Whee!